Hello, uh, my name is Michael Twasson. I'm with the Audio Applications Group here at Maxim Integrated. And in this video, we're gonna go over the unboxing of the Max 98050 EV system. And we're gonna talk about um, how to bring it up, get, get into quick start on connecting it um, and loading the GUI. There are two GUI options for this system. And we're gonna talk through each of those two GUIs and how to use them. So let's get started. When you first get the kit, you get the box like this. You, turn, you, you open the box, you see inside here, you have four main boards and a, and a USB cable. So you have the Max 98050 development board. You actually have two of these, and these two are identical. Uh, they're just set to different I2C addresses. You have the, the audio interface board, uh, which basically converts USB to I2C and I2S. And you have a dual EV kit adapter, and you also have a USB cable. So with all this hardware, you have the ability to connect it either as a mono configuration or stereo configuration. So mono is typically how you'd use it for if you want to do uh, bench evaluation electrically using an audio precision or something similar. Uh, and for stereo evaluation is where you want to do maybe if you have your filters designed already and you want to connect it to a form factor headset and you want to evaluate acoustically, you can do hardware evaluation using a GUI as well. So if you want to do mono based configuration, you can take the audio interface board and connect, pick one of the two um, development boards here, it doesn't matter, and you just plug it in, and you plug it into USB, and you're off and running, you can connect it to your audio precision and do electrical bench, evalu bench evaluation. Uh, to do stereo configuration, what you do is you take unplug the audio interface board here, and you plug this instead into the dual EV kit adapter, and then you plug the two EV kits here into the dual EV kit adapter. And what you have here now is that the EV the, the development systems are identical again, but they're set to different addresses, so they don't conflict on the I2C bus. So that's how you'd set it up for stereo. Let's go ahead and start looking at the GUIs. There are two GUI options for this system. Uh, there's the Max 98050 um, uh, evaluation GUI, and that's basically like the general GUI that gives you access to all registers inside the part. And there's another GUI called Hearable Sound Studio Basic, which gives you access for, for all the fil digital filter tuning. That's for the digital filter one, digital filter two, the playback compensation filter, as well as a, a DRC filter and also EQ filters. And uh, with the Hearable Sound Studio Basic, you can also do hardware-based evaluation. So you can take the filters that you've designed and then basically you can write that to the stereo configuration here and you can do evaluation using acoustic form factors. So let's go ahead and take a further look into the GUIs. So here we have the, the Max 98050 evaluation software. This is a general purpose GUI, which gives you access, interactive access to all of the registers inside the part. So I currently have it connected to the uh, audio interface three, and also it's actually hooked up to two boards right now for stereo mode. So the way you start here is you hit connect up here, and it will make a connection to the board. And you can see down below that it registers, uh, um, there's a rev ID, as well as the, um, the audio interface uh, three board is here and the EV system is ready. Now, up here, it shows the active device that you're controlling. So right now it's 0x62, which is one of the two addresses of the bo two boards that are connected. The other board here is shown as 0x64. So you can look at um, each, uh, you can control each board separately using this address, um, um, the active device selection. So the first step would probably be to do a read all, just to make sure you can read from the parts themselves and you can uh, um, get an updated status from what, the, what all the registers are from, from default power on. Let's do that here. So here you can see the, the current setting on, on the board itself for, uh, for active device 62. So with this GUI, um, it's pretty much an interactive block diagram. So you can click on any of these blocks and get access to any of the controls uh, within the part itself. So this is what you'd use to set the uh, sample rate, uh, whether you want, want to turn on a playback or record pass. Um, um, anything you want to do, um, you can actually control the mic bias voltages here as well. Um, so if this gives you full access, pretty much kitchen sink access to the part itself, so you can do your bench evaluation. So typically this GUI is run with a single mono board, um, but it also works with stereo as well. So you can see here there are two boards connected. So uh, there's also the control register tabs here, which gives you, which shows you a full diagram of all the registers and all the bits associated with each of the registers. Um, all these registers are explained in detail in the, in the 98050 um, data sheet. So that covers the, um, the Max 98050 evaluation software. That's again, the, the basic GUI that allows you to um, interact and control all the registers in the part. If you want to do the tuning for the, uh, for the filters, um, you use Hearable Sound Studio Basic. 
So let's go ahead and open that now. So here's the home screen for Hero Sound Studio Basic. Let's close the other window first here. So um, this is a pretty simple diagram. It shows uh, we have three buttons on the left and one button on the right here. Um, this gives you, the ones on the left here give you control to, um, to basically tune the digital filters. Uh, this is a digital filter one, digital filter two, and the playback compensation filter as well. And this gives, also gives you access to the digital filter dynamic range compressor, the DRCs, and also to the EQ. This button on the right is once you've finished, you, um, you have filters designed and ready to go, you can plug in your hardware and basically write them directly to the hardware, write the filters to the hardware itself and do evaluation using a form factor uh, with the filters loaded. So th for everything on the left here, you do not need hardware connected at all. As a matter of fact, we can unplug the board right now. So what you can do here is that you start by uh, clicking on the digital filters. Um, you click here, and this gives you access to all three sets of digital filters. There's a digital filter one, digital filter two, and a playback compensation. So um, in the case of the DF, let's have DF2 here, let's enable this. And this gives you control access for all of the biquads. Um, so you can select which one you want to control. Let's, go, let's turn on filter number one. Um, and here in this center window here, it gives you the controls for that particular filter that you have selected. Uh, you can pull down window, you can select parametric, low pass, high pass, uh, whatever you need to do for, for the biquads. You can also do manual entry of the coefficients as well. So here you have sliders to control um, the FC and also the Q and also the gain of the filter itself. And it shows the single filter response down here. And on the right side, it shows the aggregate response of all the filters that you have selected. So let's say, let's turn on filter number two. Let's change to filter number two to, uh, let's make that a parametric. Why don't we change that? Let's go ahead and slide that around a bit. That's, so now you have two filters here. And as you can see, the individual filter number two is shown here. And the, the total combined response uh, for magnitude and phase is shown on the right. Now you also have the option of actually dragging, um, drag and drop on the filter controls here. So you can actually take the filter number one icon and you can move that around. And then you can also edit the filters easily that way too. And you can hit control and the mouse scroll wheel to adjust the queue of the filters as well. That's another way to do it. So this is the same interface for digital filter one, digital filter two, and also the playback compensation filters. Um, so it's a very similar fill um, interface. So this gives you access to all the tuning. Once you have all of your filters configured and tuned, uh, you can go to file and you can save the filter settings here. So you can save as many different profiles as you want and it just saves them basically as a registers specifically associated to those digital filters. So um, once you're done with the digital filters, you can close this and go back to the main home screen. And then you can go ahead and tune the DRC and the EQ fil filters as well. Let's open up DRC. Now there's a dynamic range compressor for the digital filter one and digital filter two paths. You can enable it here and you can adjust it with standard DRC controls. Um, and then you can get access there. You can enable or disable each of the individual DRCs. And once you have those set and designed, you can go to here and you can save the different profiles as well. And you can save multiple DRC profiles. Um, and again, that saves the registers files, the register settings specifically to the DRCs. The third control for the filter is the EQ button here. So you click on this, and this gives you access to the playback um, filters, the biquads for the, for the headphone response. So you enable that. And again, this is the same familiar interface where you can turn on a filter. You select what type you want, pull down, say you want to do a low pass filter here. And you can, again, you can use the sliders here, or you can also just grab uh, and uh, grab the icons and move it around graphically as well. So, and you have up to five different filters to, to tune and play around with here. And once you have your filters set, you can, um, oh, also the, down here, there's a target. You can actually load a target. Say you want to do a target that you're aiming for, you can load that and they, that gives you a graphical guidance on what to tune for. And once you have your filters tuned and set, you can go ahead and save those the profiles themselves. And you can save multiple pro profiles. You can also load them at a later time as well. So that summarizes the, the digital filter design for the 98050 using Studio, Sound Studio Basic. Once you have your filters designed, uh, at that point, you have the option of going to the hardware and basically loading them into the hardware itself and doing evaluation. So let's say you have filters already designed at DRC and EQ. Let's go ahead and click on hardware evaluation. Click here. And this is where you need the hardware connected. Uh, the previous steps, you did not need it at all, but here you need it. And it walks you through the steps here. Um, it's a simple four-step process. Uh, it says uh, there is a startup guide for the, for the evaluation system. So uh, 
Uh, it's highly recommended to read that. That gives you information on the on the hardware associated with this system. And also, if you have a specific transducer you want to connect, whether it's a MEMS microphone, ECM, uh, how to configure the jacks so it's compatible and ready to go. So once you have everything connected, uh, you connect it together like so, like like shown here. You have the audio interface board connected to the dual EV kit adapter and the two boards here. Um, it's this is designed to set up for addresses zero x sixty two and sixty four for right and left channels respectively, and that's how this is configured. And that should be how it's set up. Uh, by default from the factory. Uh, you could also change it on the evaluation boards as well. Uh, just confer, uh, please reference uh, the startup guide for information on that. So let's go ahead and plug that in. So now we have the stereo boards connected. We have all four of these set up here. Uh, we don't have a headset connected at this point, but this is just uh, to show you the configuration for the hardware. Once that's all plugged in, then you have to configure the MAX 98050 registers for hardware playback of a hardware configuration or hardware evaluation. So just load this, click this, and there's a default file which we which we provide, but of course it depends on what type of transducers you have. If you have an ECM microphone, it might be slightly different. So this is a sample configuration file which is provided. Um, let's go ahead and load this. And it shows the, the name of the file that's loaded here. And this is a register file that was created using the EVKit um, evaluation software that we showed you previously. So once you're all set here, Continue to do to evaluation. And it says, if you have a headset connected, please remove it. Don't put it in your ears because if it loads this filter that's not stable, that would not be a good experience. So make sure you don't have them in your ears when you have them connected. Let's hit okay here. So now we've uh, now we're in the hardware evaluation page. So here I have four simple buttons um, and uh, it's straightforward. You could load an EQ profile, you load a DRC profile and you can load up to two different digital filter profiles here. And what you can do is you can change them on the fly so you can listen to it. If you have it connected to a headset, you can evaluate the hardware, the actual hardware itself. Um, so you just click on the button, you can load your files, and, and you can and, and it what it does is it loads the file and it writes it directly to the registers of the two boards that are connected to the evaluation system. And that's pretty much it. That, uh, the, this is a way to evaluate very quickly and easily the digital filters that you've configured for the, for the MAX 98050. Um, once you're set, say you have a you have an EQ loaded, a DRC loaded, and a digital filter profile loaded. Um, if you want to save a complete register set of everything as configured with EQ, DRC, and digital filters, um, you you stay at this page, and what you do is you open up the evaluation software, and you hit connect, and you do a read all, and what it does is it reads all of the con uh, the register settings as they are configured, like with EQ, uh, DRC, and with the digital filters. And for both parts. And all you do is cl click on file and you do save. And that will save a complete register set of both parts as they are in the state that they're in. And there you have it. You have your full register set. You can take that to prototyping um, or, or further evaluation. And you can do this with any uh, configuration. So say you go back here, you want to change to a di different digital filter profile. You can do another read all and save again as another register files. So when you're finished, you have um, you can have a full register set for a complete state of the part. You also have your individual EQ profiles, which are also a set of registers for the EQ or DRC or for the digital filters. And that pretty much summarizes the, the quick bring up of the EV system and what uh, what GUIs you have. Okay, and uh, that summarizes it. We, uh, we went through an unboxing of the evaluation system. We showed the hardware components and how you can set it up for hardware mono evaluation and also for stereo configuration for acoustic testing with your filters and how to bring up the GUIs and what the GUIs are for. That's it. If you have any more questions or need more information, please go to Maxim Integrated website and download information on the, the Max 98050 evaluation system and also for the part itself. Thank you.